Hello, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed, and we are up in the radio shack, and we do have a Raddy box on the radio bench. Now, Raddy do make shortwave radios. It's part of Radio Oddity. However, this is not going to be a radio-based video. This is going to be something completely different. This is a solar-powered irrigation system with, I believe, a hub and a phone app. Following on from my greenhouse build, which was a previous video, if you haven't watched that, that was a bit interesting. It had no instructions, and uh, yeah, we almost fell out making that. But following on from that, um, yeah, just, just by coincidence, Raddy got in contact with me and said, would I be interested in an irrigation kit? And it's perfect for the greenhouse in the summer. So in this video, we are going to have a look inside what's in the box. I'm going to take it all uh, downstairs in the garden and try and fit it up. And yeah, we'll see how it works. I've absolutely no idea how this is going to work. Okay, let's have a look in the box. First time that I'm opening a box, no idea how this is going to work. Okay, we've got some user instructions. That's good. So, um, solar irrigation system. I don't know if this has got a battery, if it relies purely on solar power, or you can charge the battery. I do know that it has an app you download on your phone. So hopefully these instructions are going to be quite easy to understand. We've got, yeah, lots of tubing. Um, lots of pipe connections. It's going to be quite sort of basic in that regard. And connect. To, okay, we've got a little uh, Q code here. Please scan the Q code to access a video to easily and quickly view the operational details. That's brilliant. I do like things that uh, Pine to are like that. You just scan that, it takes you to a video on your phone, makes it a whole lot easier trying to get all this uh, all this together. That's obviously the solar panel. Uh, then there is an app that we need to download for our phone. And I think that shows it there. I mean, basically, all this is just going to water the plants in the greenhouse um, in the summer, in case we forget, and hopefully uh, be sort of monitor it. This is all of the connections for the pipes. Yeah, so it's going to be quite a lot of um, pipe work, a little bit fiddly, I imagine. And then we can water the plants via the metering on the phone. We have another little um, manual here. This is a small manual, uh, mini hub box. So this must be a little Wi-Fi box, I assume. And um, could you say it does work on your phone? Yeah, this is this is a little uh, little Wi-Fi um, transmitting box. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. It's very technical, isn't it, for uh, for basically an irrigation system? Right, let's have a quick look. Then another little box. Okay, that's the uh, little Wi-Fi hub, which is some um, kind of a very uh, almost like a luminous uh, green colour. And we have the main solar unit itself. It feels quite heavy, so it does feel it must have a uh, lithium ion battery in here. Okay, and that's just this kind of like uh, green colour there. It looks like the whole thing is in one unit. So we've got an input and an output there, which I assume is going to be the uh, water feed. And okay, controlled all via your phone, I would imagine. So I'm just randomly. Um, pulling up things now. I imagine that's to come back, back uh, yeah, yeah that, that's the battery compartment. So it does look like it's got a replaceable, rechargeable battery, which is quite good. Um, I can't see any USB input socket, so I'm not sure whether you can charge it uh, manually or you're purely relying on the solar cell there. It looks quite a nice, decent quality solar cell. So that is the pump and the power and then yeah, in the in the bag here we have got some tubing for the water feed, and then we have a multiple pack of connectors. Um, it does have a filter, so we're going to run this from a bucket of water. We're hoping we're going to use rainwater for this. It does have a filter, and a little looks like, looks like a non-return one-way valve, and that's that. And what else we got? Looks like some uh, USB charging cable, USB-C, and of some pegs, which I'll assume is probably what we're going to put in the plant pots, and that will drip feed. That's going to drip feed the water into the pots. Okay. So yeah, it looks it looks quite decent quality actually. We've got a very nice stainless steel clip on the back of this. It's a bit odd it being green. I thought it was going to be white, but uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure about the colour. 
And there we go, seems very, very basic. So we're not off to the greatest start. That 2D barcode, that Q code in the instructions, took us to a series of YouTube videos which were a company called Rainpoint, which were completely different irrigation systems that worked on a tap. But thankfully Mrs. Fred just searched on YouTube and she found this Raddy uh, device. Basically the first thing I'm gonna do, it has a removable, rechargeable battery and there we go so that's just a lithium iron cell 3.7 volts to 600 milliamp hours and it has a USB-C charging port on the side so I think the first thing to do is to um, put that on charge and make sure we start off with a decent battery just plugging in the little Wi-Fi hub at this stage I'm not sure whether this needs to be in all of the time I think it needs to have a permanent supply. It's a little bit confusing because if you go to the label on the bottom now, it says that it runs on 110 to 230 volts, uh, 50 hertz, but it's a USB-C, so it's a 5 volt system. Um, yeah, so we're not quite sure. Mrs. Fred is um, looking at the instructions now, and I'll get back to you when we've worked out how that works. Okay, so we're going to add device, yeah, and then we're going to that little symbol there which is ready for pairing next and then pairing please insert the batteries in the device the indicator will blink quickly so pull the battery out and then I'll try it again can you put it out? Uh, probably not one handy Didn't work, did it? So completely take it out, put it back in. That's the pump, Jen. That turns the pump on. I'm just doing what he said there. That's the one above it, I think. Okay, so that's now flashing. We've only got 30 seconds left on. The device has added successfully, finally. Okay. Everything and doing everything. So pump insulation, cut the hose according to the distance to the device, the plants that you need, connect to the water let, there is a filter and everything. So it's just nut and bolt work now, isn't it? Mm, I think so. So these are the drip feeds, aren't they? These drip feed into the... Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come back to the app and assume set the timer and everything. So the next stage is just working out the pipe work. I know you're going to ask me how long the pipe is. I actually don't know. I'll see if, see if I can find the specs and I'll put it on the pop-up of the screen. But there's quite a bit, I can tell you that much. And there's all of the interconnects. You've got to work this all out. As I say, there's a filter that's going to go into the uh, bucket of water. And then you've got the drip feeders which go on the ends of the pipes and uh, that drips down hopefully into the uh, root of the plant. So you only get one attempt at this so you need to sort of plan it um, quite carefully. Let me set it up and then we'll get the app working hopefully and we can demonstrate it. This is the feed coming inside the greenhouse and as you can see there is actually quite a lot of pipe. There'll be more than enough to uh, run this round if I stretch that fully out that's loads isn't it I'd say it's what 20 foot isn't it 25 foot it's absolutely uh, absolutely loads of pipe so you do get a lot of pipe which is a good job and what did you say it was 10 plants so you got 10 outlets yeah so we've only got you've got 10 outlets for um, 10 pots so you need to choose wisely there's also a little non-return valve stops the water siphoning back to the bucket. So I've just marked that to let us know which way that will flow through. That's a good put idea. Put the little um, wired hub because it needs consistent USB power. I've just put it over here in the shed shack and it's showing two blue lights. So I'm assuming that's connected. Right, we need to pop out to the greenhouse now. I've done all of the pipe work and uh, we can manually test it before we set it up on here. This is the, um, the pipe work. 
it's not too bad to do i um, just got to do a little bit of planning the connections are a little bit tough um, it's quite a cold day today probably better to do this in the summer if you suffer from any arthritis or anything in your fingers maybe have a pot of hot water and just dip the uh the plastic tubing into some hot water first but anyway as you can see it goes round. You've only got 10 outputs that comes with the uh, kit. And as Mrs. Fred said, if it works, she's tempted to maybe get another system so we could double that to 20. But uh, anything, everything is secured. I just now need to manually switch it on and uh, see if we get any water. There's a little one-way valve. Put it right down by the pump. Right, moment of truth. Now there is, on the side here, you've got the uh, set button there, which connects to the Wi-Fi and then you have a manual on off switch for the pump so hopefully if I switch that on Bella's very interested well I can hear the pump going yeah, we've got water, we've got water. Okay, so uh, Mrs. Fred says we've got water. Let me just have a quick look. Right, so we've got water dripping out of this one. Um, this one, I uh, need to look at that. I've got nothing coming out of this one. And that one's, that one's working as it's supposed to. That's running down the inside. Tomatoes. Yeah, I've got little drips. So I'm going to have to push those on a little bit firmer. Mind you, it's working, isn't it? I mean, that's dripping. That one is working. That's working. That's dripping. Sorry, Jim. Yeah, that's dripping. So it does it seems to be working. I think a couple of those I need to push on a little bit for a little bit sort of harder. So they go down the. Uh, the actual drip tube there but yeah how about that it is irrigating just got to work out the app now okay we've got this set up on our phone now hopefully you can see it I'm sorry about the reflections first thing on the display is that, that little symbol there if that's yellow that means that the solar solar cell is working and the battery is getting charged so that's good we've set up a plan and if we go to plan so again, it's very sorry you can't really can't see this very well, but um, basically our plan one is to start at nine o'clock in the morning for two minutes and then plan two, three o'clock in the afternoon for two minutes. We'll see how that goes. Obviously, we'll probably water them manually, but uh, that should hold things at bay. And then we have um, a manual irrigation here, so you can switch it on manually and I'll just need to see if that works let me just um, take this down to one minute like that. and then I'm going to just press confirm and there we go we have a little start down timer and then hopefully we'll see some water coming through it's working how about that probably can't see oh this one's dripping better so uh, yeah I need to push these on a little bit harder they're just slightly leaking but I'm gonna wait for a warmer day because um, I do find they're a little bit hard to push on my fingers are a little bit sore having done the whole lot but there you go you can push those further into the soil as the uh, plants grow but that's working. I can see water flowing down that one. Zooming in. And that one, that one as well. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite impressive really. It's quite an impressive piece of kit. I've never thought about uh, anything like this. This is all new to us. This greenhouse is new. We did a whole video on it. Um, just since lockdown, we've been started doing this. But yeah, it's, it's quite impressive. Um, probably would have been nice to have a couple of more feeds. Um, I suppose there's no reason why you just couldn't add to this. This is just like fish pump. 
um, fish pump sort of pump hose. But again, that's, I imagine the, the more feed you put on it, the, the more you're going to lose um, your pressure. But uh, well, there you go. Thank you for Ruddy for sending this in, and uh, it seems to work really, really well. So there's the thumbs up from Fred in the Shed. As always, before you go, just hit me a thumbs up down below. I really would appreciate it. And yeah, stay safe. Look after each other and cheers. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.